What's going on, family? It's your backyard gardener. I am out at the urban garden right now. We're kind of trying to um, put things to to bed and prepare for the winter. I keep hearing people say it's going to be a long winter. It's going to be a long winter, and the way things is going, I'm sure that it is because uh, it's cold already um, here in Michigan. I got some pine straw from my neighbor who has a, a pine tree and he him and his wife was raking them up and I asked if I could um, have some and he said sure so my grandboys got out and they helped them rake them up and uh, gave me big two big gigantic bags we brought home and we covered the um, kiwi plant we haven't did the grapevine yet but we did the raspberries blueberries most of the trees and the strawberry bed and the blackberry bed now I know it said that uh, pine needles um, put acidity into the soil it doesn't put that much acidity it's not going to change your pH like that um, so this is here come Mari and um, <laughs> my granddaughter um, this is what we're doing to prepare the garden for winter say hi Mari Mari is uh, starting to do her own makeup I, we don't understand where that's going but we just we go with it and here comes Sean bringing a big bag of uh, under the second bag of pine needles so we can finish up the tree so all you gardeners out there you know what I'm going through because you're doing the same thing also another neighbor brought me um, right here in this box some kind of lilies that she had cut back and digged up so I'm going to store them for the winter and um, next year I'll put some kind of lilies out here because they get real tall and um, beautiful so that's what we got. I hope everybody is doing well. I'd like to give a shout out to P. Smith Gardner. Sent me some wonderful seeds. I'm very excited um, to be able to use those. I want to give a shout out to Keep Growing Detroit who delivered um, six months panels to me. I'm excited about that. I've already used them. And stay tuned for one second. I'm going to take you over to the other garden and show you the progress that we did over there. It is 7 in the morning. The sun is just coming up. And Home Depot is delivering my um, six fence panels that was donated to me by Detroit Black Farmers Land Fund. So we're over here at the second garden, urban garden, and this is the fence that I put up. We cut all these grapevines down. It was a hot mess. We've been um, doing some biochar in the bin back there. Uh, cut all the grapevines off the fence. So it's just an empty lot right now. We're going to add some beds to it. Uh, this is where my mostly my vegetables will be grown over here. I might have maybe one tree um, or something over here, but this is it. And as you can see here, just watch. Right it doesn't get any convenient than that. Um, again, I'd like to give a shout out to Keep Growing Detroit. Uh, for donating the uh, six fence panels from Home Depot and I'd like to give a shout out to P. Smith Gardner who also donated um, a bunch of really good seeds. I'm excited about them 
and a shout out to my neighbors who's been just like coming on board and bringing things that's beneficial for the garden um the kind of ladies and also the uh pine straw so i'm really thankful that the community has embraced this project because before it was nothing but an empty lot and you know it, it was being maintained but not as maintained as now so uh you know get out there and grow something even if you don't have a lot and you got a, a patio or a porch you can still do it there too it's no excuse all right everybody i'm going to uh leave it at this note keep growing detroit peace